So on Tuesday's video, we talked about the specifics of recording a voiceover for video, and in today's Friday show, we're gonna be talking about producing that voiceover for video. So check it out. Welcome back to another video of mine. I am so thrilled that you are here. On this channel, I talk about audio for video as well as video production and gear for both of those things. And finally, I talk about music composing and all things creative. So if any of those things interest you at all, please consider subscribing to the channel. You'd be joining the fam. Would love to have you on board. Now in this video, I am actually using the Tascam TH02 headphones, which are a $20 pair of closed back headphones. And I'll say this, they are $20 headphones, but dang, for that amount of money, they're actually really, really good. These came for free free on my last two pack of DR10L recorders. If you don't have any closed back headphones and you don't have any mixing headphones in general, all you have are the Apple pod things that come with your laptop or phone, then check these out. These would be really important upgrade for you. So Tascam TH02, the link for these are in the description. Go check it out, 20 bucks on Amazon. Remember, we also talked about the Blue Bluebird in uh, Tuesday's video, this incredible microphone. This same audio that we talked about then is gonna be used in this production of a voiceover. So if you want the link for this is also still in the description for you to go check this out as well. So after you got your voiceover totally and completely recorded, we're gonna bring it into Adobe Audition. Once in Audition, it's time to start using Audition stock plugins to get this thing mixed to the place where you are ready to slap it onto your video. So when we jump right into Audition, the first thing we always do, I always do, if you're on this channel, you know you always do it too, is compress. Let's compress this signal and it's a voiceover. So we really wanna compress it. We don't wanna leave much dynamic range in the signal at all because this is going to be the, like the audio driving your narrative. And in this case, it's a voiceover for a video project that's gonna include music and a lot of sound design. And so we need it to be compressed and we need the amplitude right up at the top of the mix for the entirety of the video. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we we're highly allergic to the sun. So using stock plugins, you might run into some issues with these because they are not robust tools like say a Waves plugin or a FabFilter plugin or something like that. And so you don't wanna push these too far. So I wouldn't use just one compressor and set a heavy threshold and a heavy ratio. You'll get a lot of distortion, a lot of weird artifacting that happens because these are the stock plugins, remember? So you can't push them too far. So I would use a couple compressors. And I started with a four to one ratio, set the threshold a couple decibels lower than your peaks, do another one, right? Right after that, four to one ratio, set the decibels lower than your peaks. Do another one right after that, set the threshold lower than your peaks, just to four or five decibels down there in the ratio at four to one. And after you've done three compressors in a row, I would actually put a fourth one on there and use a different plugin. I use the Dynamics plugin, use the compressor tool in the Dynamics plugin, did the exact same thing, set the threshold a couple decibels below the peaks that were currently peaking. And in a lot of these, I was engaging a little bit of makeup gain to bring up the amplitude after you bring it down. You know, you did decrease the dynamic range with the compressor, which also lowers the overall volume. So you can use the output gain to bring it back up. I've done that a few times. And again, just set the thresholds based on the peaks. You don't want it to be too aggressive with these little plugins like we just talked about. So I have four compressors on this signal and here's what it sounds like before and after all those compressors. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitive. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitive. Next tool we're gonna go into is the parametric EQ. And we talked about this in our stock plugins video a while back, but basically, Listen for the mid-tones, they're kind of nasty. Also cut off all the low end. Don't want any of that nasty low end rumble stuff. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun. Uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. This this voiceover was recorded here, which again is acoustically treated, but you get room tone, you get hard drive sounds, all that kind of stuff, even though I had my big blankets up. But again, don't push it too far because these plugins are only capable of so much. So I actually used two EQs. One was a parametric, then the other one was a 30 band graphic EQ. And the reason I trusted that one is because I already knew what was happening across the spectrum by using the analyzer in the parametric EQ. So both those together, clean up that signal just a little bit. At an early age, however, my sister sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, 
uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. After this, we move into our DSing, and with all that compression really evening out that signal, the sibilant frequencies are gonna jump out into your face and get a lot of pfft, that kind of stuff. So, DS. You guys learned how to do that in my audio course. So just DS this one. You, you don't need to push this one too far, just use one DSer. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun. Uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. After that, you're going to want to gate the voiceover. So the gate is in the Dynamics processor. Open that up, set your threshold to where it sounds nice and clean. We'll listen to that. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun. A light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. And after you have that to a place where you like it, move to limiting. Limiting, again, what are, what's a limiter? Well, it's a compressor that has over a 10 to 1 ratio. And I'm not sure the ratios of the limiters, the hard limiter in Premiere and Audition, the one we're looking at in Audition, obviously, but I used two. Each limiter, I did a boost of about three decibels with a good out ceiling at negative 0.6. Didn't want to push those too hard, the same way I wanted to not push those compressors too hard, so I ended up having two limiters. So here's the final signal. This is what it sounds like after, after doing all that processing in Audition. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. And now here is the raw signal again with no processing. And again, these have been normalized, so the amplitudes are gonna be around the same, but listen. My sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. At an early age, however, my sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. My sister and I realized that we were highly allergic to the sun, uh, a light sensitivity that just wasn't normal. We went to doctors, but were never diagnosed until much later in life. That's it. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm in the middle of a really massive project right now. It's getting very busy. I just got back from Oklahoma City yesterday. I'm going again tomorrow to keep filming these 12 videos for this massive award ceremony that's going on in March. So if I don't get to a rooftop Tuesday next week, that's because I'm in Oklahoma City filming interviews, filming B-roll, filming everything because the, the, this project is, is taking me there more than I am here. So. Probably won't have a rooftop Tuesday next week. Maybe we'll get a vlog out of it. Who knows? I, I'm not gonna promise anything. Be sure and like the video, share the channel with your friends, and also comment and let me know what you thought of this. Do you use these tools, these processes for voiceovers? How can I improve what I do here? And uh, all that sorts of stuff. I love talking to you guys in 2018 now with keyboards. <laughs> all that being said, I will see you next week.